Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use index formula in Excel. Index function is one of my favorite functions. It is most useful when you have a lot of data and you know the position of the data point that you want and you can key in the position and index function will fetch that data point for you. So let me show you how this works. Here I have some data. So it's sales rep names and their sales in these four quarters. So let me show you how index function works. I type index and I hit tab to autocomplete the function. You can see there are two ways of using index function. So in one of the cases, it uses three arguments and in the other one, it uses four arguments. Let me first display uh, how the first one works. In this case, it takes an array, which is uh, the data that you have. So in this here, I select these data points B3 to E5. And then I can give it the row number and column number. And based on that row number and column number, it fetches the data for me. So let me type two and two here as the row number and column number. And I hit control enter. And this gives me 2800. So I had this data point and I told this formula to go to the second row. So in this data, this would be the second row and the second column. So this would be the second column. And you can see here and here, this is the intersection point, which is 2800. So it goes to this data point, goes to second row, second column, and fetches this data. So this is what the first way of using index. Uh, the other way, which is called the reference way of using index is when you give a reference. And in this case, uh, the reference could be more than one array. So let me show you how I do this. I select B3 to B5 as one of the arrays. Then the second array is C3 to C5, then D3 to D5, and then E3 to E5. And I close the bracket. So this is the reference that I have given. You can see that there are four arrays that I have keyed in here. In a row number, I again use two, and in column number, let me use one. As the fourth argument, it takes area number. So here I have four ranges, B3 to B5, C3 to C5, D3 to D5, and E3 to E5. I can choose one of these ranges. So in area number, I would give a number. For example, here I give two. Then it would go to C3 to C5 because it's second range in this reference. And I close this and I hit Control Enter. Now you can see this again gives me 2800 because C3 to C5 was the second range. So let me open the formula. Here you can see C3 to C5 is my second range. It goes to this range because my last argument is 2. It goes to the row number which is 2. So it goes to this row and oops, goes to the second row which is this and the first column because there is only one column. So this is how index a reference function works. You can have more than one ranges and you can just give it a name, uh, a number of the range and it will go back and refer to this uh, range here. So in reference, you can see I have four ranges and I'm referring to the second one. Now let me show you an interesting way to use index function. Suppose I take the same array and as row number, I use one. But in column number, instead of giving a number, I give it zero. And I hit control enter. You can see that this gives me 3500, which is this value. But if I go into the edit mode by hitting F2 and I select this formula and I hit F9, you can see that this formula is actually returning all these four values. So it's giving me 3500, 3800, 1200, and 3800 again. The reason is, let me press Control Z to go back to the formula. The reason is that I have given the column number as zero. And whenever I give column number as zero, it will take the entire row. So this formula is actually returning the entire row. You may think that when I hit enter, it only displays 3500, which is the first value. But this is how it works in Excel. It returns an array, but it displays only the first value. But you can use this formula in other formulas. So here in this case, I'll use it in some formula. And when I hit Control Enter, it gives me 
12,300 which is the sum of all these four values. You can use the same logic and instead of getting the, all the columns you can get all the rows so in this case let me change this in such a way where uh, this is my range and for row number I put 0 and for column number I put 1 and now when I hit control enter it gives me 8500 which is the sum of these three cells let me show you in formula mode as well so I select this formula and I hit F9 and you can see that it's giving me 3500, 3700 and 1300 so this is how index formula would function when you give a row number or column number as zero it would return that entire row or column number now what if you skip this what if you don't give any uh, number in you don't even type in zero you just keep it blank it would still work so either you can give it a zero or you can just leave it blank and it would work now let me show you another very interesting way of using index function let me first use the function and I select this data as my array I say go to the third row and the fourth column now when I hit control enter it gives me 4800 because it gives me this value which is uh, the third row and the fourth column now if I place this formula in front of a cell reference so if I do it like this I give it b3 is to this formula you can see that I select this formula and it hit F9 it, it still returns 4800 but when I put this in front of a cell reference it actually returns not the value but the cell reference of the value so let me hit control enter and it gives me a value error but when I go back to the f uh, formula mode edit mode and I select this and I hit F9 you can see this gives me all these values because it considers this as a reference which starts from B3 and goes to E5 so you can see it is giving me all these values let me hit control Z to go back to the formula if you can test this again uh, I used third row and fourth column in this case you can maybe just have uh, third row and first column and I hit control enter it gives me a value error but when I select the formula and hit F9 you can see this gives me 3500 3700 and 1300 why because if you select this part of the formula the index part and it hit F9 it returns 1300 but when put in front of a cell reference instead of the value it returns the reference that is B5 and hence when you select this entire formula and hit F9 you will see that this returns all these values that is covered in this range so this is how index function works I hope you found this useful thank you and have a nice day